Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we have a Proxmox update. So I was looking, you know, uh, you, you saw my VMware replacements. We were talking about Harvester, Proxmox. Part of the challenge with either of those was easily importing the uh, virtual machine, by the way. Cheers. And if you're watching this in the morning, don't worry. I'm not drinking it. 6 a.m. Central Time. This is recorded the night before. Um, it changed today. It changed. Harvester, while I may tinker with it, Proxmox changed things today. So, you know, Proxmox gets me past my two terabyte limit. Yes, XCPNG is, is working on that, but I, I need a solution sooner rather than later. That solution was Proxmox, but the kind of the not issue, the kind of the slowdown was converting, you know, the VMs easily. Well, guess what? So uh, I just saw this today. So I think it was announced today or yesterday. But check this out. Uh, Proxmox, we are proud to announce our first release of our new integrated import wizard. Proxmox VE now provides an integrated VMware import wizard, reusing the storage plugin system for native integration into the API and web-based user interface. You can use this to import VMware ESXi VMs as a whole, with most of its config mapped to Proxmox VE's config model and reduced downtime. So they now have a direct import tool to make this easy. I can't even tell you how happy this makes me. So uh, these videos are going to uh, are going to be coming quicker. So what I'm going to do is in conjunction with the ISP equipment, uh, I need a UISP server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install UISP in a VM on my ESXi box, and then we're going to migrate it to the new Protectly hardware uh, that's going to be running Proxmox. I'm super excited about that, so I'm going to uh, try to, to uh, get that done as soon as possible. So I'll leave a link to this uh, down below. They've got their frequently asked questions that you can look, at, look at. So which ESXi version does the new importer support? We have successfully tested the new import with version 6.5 through 8. That doesn't mean that it won't work on ESX 5, 5.5, Lord forbid if you're still running four, which you shouldn't be. Um, but, it, you know, this is what they've tested it with. They are going to integrate OVF, OVA import tools into the stack. Um, and they're accessing the official ESXi API through a user space file system. You can read all the things here. And there are a bunch of pages Um uh, there's five pages of stuff so far, so I'm going to get it spun up, try it out. We'll do some videos on it. This is great news. So if you were hesitant of Proxmox because you needed to import VMs and, and it was a little bit more than what you were thinking, now they have this tool. So like I said, I'll leave a link to this down below, so go check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you're importing VMs out of or how you're exporting or uh, out of ESXi into whatever your hypervisor of choice is. I'd love to know that. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, uh, a Patreon link, a link to our community where you can come start these discussions. Um, the activity's picking up over there. Come on over to community.willyhow.com. If you need to hire us for IT consulting, you can head on over to justwillyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.